barely 10 foot by 12 foot. I wouldn't think you could put more than two or three uh, standing up. No phone, no lights. No, it wouldn't pass inspection today. <laughs> Hasn't been used since the 1940s. I bet you someone could be locked in it, but nobody has the keys. Union, Nebraska's tiny jail, listed on the National Registry of Historical Places. I don't know, we never realized it was quite the oddity that it is. <laughs> Odd as the history behind it. You see, Union began as a railroad town. There were stockyards, bars, so there was some riffraff that hung around. And Village clerk Melissa Hansen says the county jail is in Plattsmouth, 16 miles away. They had to have some place to put the people that were creating problems. Reportedly, there was a jailbreak attempt in 1926. Jailbreak! It's the door forcibly broken off. It was replaced by the one that currently stands. Well, we've used it like in our Halloween parties, like we'd have like a haunted walk or whatever. Now, the old concrete structure itself is in need of a little rehabilitation. There has been concern because like the door doesn't even open and close anymore and it's because it's settling into the ground. They'd like to relocate it closer to Main Street, but worry it could break. So the, the only jail break that you know of will, may, may occur. May occur to the actual jail itself. The village of 266 has few businesses that draw people in, so they've worked to spruce up other things. So we have a beautiful ballpark ready to be played on just not enough kids to play on it. And a tiny jail that even longtime resident Barb Lechner can hardly believe is a tourist attraction. To-do list of some people's bucket lists. <laughs> Locked up in Union, Nebraska, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.